Hi everybody, we're going to be continuing on with our maths and we're continuing to multiply four digits now by two digits. Please, if you're not confident multiplying two digits by two digits, please feel free to have a look at the skills video. I've just called it area model. Do that instead. Please don't move on if you're not 100% confident. And when I say confident, I mean confident using an area model. There are, there are only a few of us that I feel like are confident with an area model. Uh, but please look at the dedicated area model video. I'm not saying do both, just choose to do the other one. It, it's a lot longer, but it's a lot slower and it'll show you step by step. And if you want to, you can move on to this. But it, again, it's, it's my suggestion to you. Get yourself confident with an area model. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to start with a flashback four. Give it a go. Pause the video because I'm about to go through the answers. Okay, answer number one is 21,704. Well done if you got that. Perimeter of this square is 20 centimeters. Why is that? Because that's five, that's five, that's five, and that's five. Four lots of five is 20. Five squared is, of course, 25. Five and Max says fifteen pounds. He spends two pound fifty on a magazine. How much does he have left? Twelve pounds fifty. Well done if you got that correct. So, moving on, let's just have a go. Let's look at the pattern again that we see. One times four hundred and fifteen is, of course, four hundred and fifteen. Now, I'm gonna. This number stays the same, but this number gets ten times larger. So, our answer is going to get, uh, sorry, 100 times larger. Our answer is going to get 100 times larger, and it is, of course, 41,500. Now, if we have a look, we're multiplying it by 100, 200. So, it looks like we can just double it. Well done if you spotted that. And we've multiplied it by 201 now. So, we can take this 200, and then we can add another one of those on. So, there we go. I'm just adding another one of these on because that's the 100. So let's get into our uh, multiplication. So have a think, how would I answer this question? First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start over here. So I'm gonna do, this one is three, sorry, 2,313 times by two, and this one, is 2,313 times by 30. Now, what I want you to do is instantly do this. This is the biggest mistake that I sort of have seen. I've seen it from almost everybody. We're forgetting this here. Remember, this is not a three, it's 30. And to do this is a little cheat way to do it. Do that first. We're forgetting it. And it's there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, it's best not to forget it, but it's the most common mistake. And so let's get on to this. So I'm going to do my 2 times my 3 is, of course, 6. 2 times 1 is, of course, 2. 2 times 3 is, of course, 6. 2 times 2 is 4. Now, because I already have that there, I don't need to worry about it now. I'm going to do 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 2 is 6. Then I'm going to add them up. Uh, ah, my writing's in the way. Nope. I need to do this. Let me get this out of the way. So, there we go. 2 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 is 3. Sorry. And 2 times 2. Remember, I'm saying 2 times 2, but we both know that's 2 times 3. Sorry, 2 times 2,000. So, hold on if you got that bit. Remember, please hold up. Biggest mistake. 2 times 3. 2 times 3. 3 times 2. Well done. Add them all up. You can definitely do that. Well done if you got to this point. Well done. So, if you can do this, well done. 
if you're struggling with this method here and you are forgetting this, I am going to say, remember there's the area model. It, the area model takes a lot longer, but you're less likely to make a mistake. Whereas here we're making this mistake. Oh, I can't move my slide. There we go. Okay. So here is an area model. Let's give it a go. Pause it. Work it out. So I'm going to do my 30 times 2,000. Here's, of course, 60,000. 30 times 2 is 60. So 30 times 2,000 must be 60,000. We're going to do 30 times 300. 30 times 3 is, of course, 90. So 300. We've obviously done 1,000. 30 times 10 is 300. So that means being 30 times 3 is 90. Okay, 2 times... 2,000 is 4,000, 2 times 300, 600, 2 times 10 equals 20, 2 times 3 is 6. What is my next step? Of course, my next step is to then add up all of these up. Well done if you, if you were able to get that step. All of those, you can do them in a column method, the addition in a column method, by all means. And you should get 74,016. If you don't, go back, work for it slowly. Okay, so this calculation. I am going to suggest you draw out the area model and then try and work out using a formal column method. I'm going to show you the formal column method here. Give this a go. So you might have done, sorry, you might have done your area model or area method, grid method, whatever you want to call it. Now try and have a relate that to this. Pause the video, work it out. Start over here. Okay, go. Put those in. Hopefully we saw, that's the 3, that's the 30. Hopefully we've put that in now. Okay. Then I'm going to do 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 2, add the 1, is 7. 3 times 3 is 9. And 3, that's just because I was going too quick. 3 times 6 is of course 18. Well done. Now, we have already put that zero in, hopefully. Now, 30 times 4, which is 3 times 4 times 10, is, of course, 120. 3 times 2 is 6. At the 1 is 7. 3 times 3 is, of course, 9. 3 times 6 is 18. Then it's time to add them up. 2, 9, 16, 18. Hopefully, we got this answer. Well done if you got that. As I say, we're very good with these difficult bits. We're very good with this. Uh, our exchanging over. It's this. And you might think I'm talking about it too much. It's because it is the biggest issue. So... Have a go with this. Pause the video, work it out. Good. Okay, well done if you saw it was 50 and 2. So, 2 times 5, 2 times 4, 2 times 1, 2 times 4. Bam. Got that. Well done. I'm just going to go for it really quick. So, remember, put our 0 in first. 50 times 5 is 25. Uh, 5 times 4 is 20. At the 2 is 22. The two down, carry the two. Five times one is of course five, add two is seven. Five times four is twenty. Add them all up, and we should have something that looks like this: two hundred fifteen thousand five hundred forty. Well done if you got that. Finally, can you spot the error? What has happened? What is wrong here? 
Now, when you get a question like this, it's always best to actually go in and check it yourself. So, four times two is, of course, a. You might want to rewrite this out next to it. Four times nothing is nothing, because four times nothing, anything times nothing is always nothing. So we've found our first mistake. Let's see if there are any more. Four times four is 16. Four times five is 20. So we've got the one in there. Carry the two. Yeah, all fine. Let's have a look. Two times two is four. Four. Two times two isn't four. Because we're going to have it's two times 20. Two times 20 is 40. Not four. So yeah, we've got our placeholder. As I say, it's the most common mistake. Now we're going to do two times two. So that would be 40. So then we'll be do zero times two, which of course is zero. Biggest mistake. Uh, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 5 is 10, we see our 10 there, then we would add them up. So, our mistakes were, 4 times 0 is obviously 0, our next one is got to be 10 times larger, and 4, sorry, 2 times nothing is of course nothing. So our addition would be a completely different. Well done if you got that as the correct answer. Now what I want you to do, if you're confident with that, please feel free to give the sheets a go. Uh, but as I say, if you're not confident with that, please feel free to watch the other maths video. It is very long, but it's because I go through it very slowly. Please let me know if you find any of the videos helpful. If you're still struggling, please let me know. Please don't panic. I don't want you to panic because we can cover this when we get back into school.